This is the interior video of our 2021 Forest River Forester MBS 2401B. You have a screen door that actually separates from your normal door there with a sliding plastic cover for bugs not to be able to get in. And then we'll walk right up in. You have a retracting, self-retracting uh, and extending step right here. So every time you open and close the door, that step can come out and go back in. It can also stay stationary if you'd like that to happen. Over to the left, you have a battery disconnect, which is a great feature. If you're ever storing the vehicle, you can actually disconnect your batteries and they'll be right back where you left them as soon as you get back and turn it back on. You have controls here, which you're gonna control awning lights, living room lights, all lights on, all lights off, extending or retracting your awning. This is a furnace uh, vent right here. And then you'll notice that you have some extended counter space right here. If you walk into the right, you've got both of our uh, swiveling chairs turned around with their seat cushions attached. Up front, you've got an amazing interface on this Mercedes Sprinter uh, chassis. You've got tons of stuff up here. You can actually speak to it, say, hey, Mercedes, go to 100.1 FM. What do you want to do? Go to 100.1 FM. And it will actually do as you ask. It's pretty great. Um, the steering wheel has tons of different features on it as well, where you can control from up here. You have navigation and tons of different stuff. Backup camera is actually your rear view uh, mirror, as they call it. So it's back, basically a backup camera. You do have side view cameras as well for when you hit your blinker. This is your top bunk up here. I've got the TV pulled out to where you'd be able to view it. Ladder that actually extends down to the floor and connects to the top bunk right here. That ladder actually sits right inside here as you're traveling. All right, solid surface countertops got a sink cover here for a single weld uh, uh, sink there and then you've got your phone charger which is right here it's pretty neat um, you just lay your phone on top of it and it'll actually charge your cell phone cabinet space down through here you've got a microwave slash convection oven here as well and then you've got your two burner stove top this is propane two burner stove top you've got an upgraded faucet which is a lot nicer than most faucets that come in it will extend down and it's easier to wash dishes with that up top here's my television right to the uh, right of the television I have a one control system so if I click this this is pretty much where everything is going to be controlled from you got all your lights on all your lights off I'm showing fresh water uh, levels propane levels black water levels and gray water levels and then you have shortcuts over here but if I click devices I can go to all the stuff that I would ever need, like awning, lighting, slides, generator, monitor panel, stabilizers. Cool thing about this is you can download an app on your phone and control it all off of your phone. Right above that, you've got a Bluetooth stereo. Um, it's not only Bluetooth, it's FM. It's uh, got tons of different features on it. You've got inside and outside speakers, so A, B, and C are going to be indoor and outdoor speakers. And if you hook up your Bluetooth to it, you can slave that phone right to it and listen to your favorite stuff. Above cabinet storage is huge on this vehicle, so you've got tons of cabinet storage up top right there. And it also connects over here. Large 10 cubic foot uh, fridge and freezer. There's no dents or any scratches or anything like that on the freezer or fridge. It looks like there may be one tiny little spot right there, but that's all I can see. Huge fridge. freezer. Dinette booth's in great shape, no tears, uh, rips, anything like that in the cushions. Table's in good shape, no scratches, nothing like that. The wood's in really good shape in this vehicle. I'm not seeing a whole lot of scratches, dents, dings, nothing like that. But we do do a final reconditioning on the coach and make sure that everything's looking good for you. I am aware about this cabinet. It's got a little wood chip right here, but we are going to be replacing that cabinet. Just the door is all. Thermostat's located on the wall right here in front of your queen bed. So this is your queen bed here. It's actually a wedge bed. So as the slide room comes in, it slides back up on top to, of itself, and then you just push it right back down. That easy. You've got a television in front of your bed right there, and 110 outlets on the wall as well. 
and then we'll move over to your bathroom. So this is the bathroom door. Opening up, you have countertop here with a sink cover. GFI is located on the wall right there. You've got a fan and light switch right here. You've got a medicine cabinet above your sink, which is nice. It actually has a lot of storage in it as well on both sides. Porcelain toilet, which is a lot nicer than your average plastic toilet that you get in these things. And your toilet paper roll is going to be located right on the inside of that cabinet door there. Shower's fairly large, big enough for a grown man to get into. You have a sliding shower door here. And that slides back. Nice big shower head on there. And then you have these cool little hooks to hang stuff on up top. You also do get an exhaust fan in the ceiling there. vehicle's in fantastic shape. I hope this answered your questions. If you have any other questions for me, please give us a shout. We'd be happy to help. Thanks.